Good morning, welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon. Um, if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I post like maybe one or two videos a week. Um, so today I'm vlogging and it could either be a very exciting day or just a normal day. Um, in a few minutes, I'm leaving to go to the RMV to take a road test. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. But I'm also like not really expecting to pass. It would be cool if I did, but like I'm not like getting my hopes up or anything. So yeah, and if you don't know, I don't have my license. I'm 22 years old, almost 23, and I made a video all about it. So make sure you go and watch that. Anyway, I'm just wearing this tank top um, from Paxson. It's pretty cute. And then these jeans from American Eagle. And I wanted to wear sneakers for my test because that's probably the best thing to wear while driving. And I'm bringing this white denim jacket and some sandals to put on afterwards. All right, so my test is in 20 minutes and I just did some driving around the area just to get familiar with it. Um, yeah, I'm nervous, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Mom, are you excited? Um, I wouldn't say that's the word I would use. <laughs> so, um, I guess uh, I'll talk to you after. So I had an unfortunate turn of events and I failed my road test. I didn't even get to make it out of the parking lot. I didn't even get to put the car in drive. Well, I'm sorry, I did for a second, but I failed because I'm in a car that I borrowed simply because I needed the center emergency brake, this little brake right here. You have to have this in Massachusetts to take your road test because they need to be able to stop the car. And the lady comes and she has me test my signals, my hand signals, my um, horn, my whatever. She has me test everything and then she gets in the car and she goes to have me test my emergency brake and I pull it up and she says, put your foot on the gas. and. I've never tested an emergency brake by putting the foot on the gas. I didn't even know that was a thing. Now that I think about it, like it makes sense. But I've never heard of anybody in a test having to do that. I don't know if this lady was just extra cautious or what. Um, anyways, she had me put, on my, put my foot on the gas and the car, you know, struggled but started to move forward, which it's not supposed to do. So then she was like, maybe you didn't pull it up high enough, try it again. And so I did and it did the same thing and then she pulled it up because in the situation of it being pulled it would be her pulling it so she figured she'd do it because obviously she's stronger than me or something I don't know and it didn't work and she said it's sorry it's a safety issue I have to fail you so that's how I failed my road test the first time I'm not like super upset honestly like I'm a slightly annoyed but mostly I'm annoyed at the fact that I have to pay the money anyway which is like really annoying um but you know I feel more prepared than I would have if I didn't have a test today so that's good uh, I feel like a much more confident driver and in all the maneuvers that you have to do um so that's good my next plan is to schedule a there's a driving place near me that schedules packages of like an hour and a half of driving and a road test sponsorship which means you can use their car and one of their instructors will be your sponsor who sits in the back and just watches so yeah that's my next plan but that probably isn't going to happen for at least a week because i'm going on a vacation up to maine for a week when i get back i have a job interview it's my follow-up job interview um i already had one and it went really well they just need me to meet a like senior vp type thing so if that goes well hopefully I will get a job um, and then after that it's tough because I want to get a job but I'm afraid that if I get a job I will never find the time to schedule and take a road test and have a lesson and all that but I'm gonna have to make time and you know I was a little excited, I'm not going to lie. I was trying not to get my hopes up, but I was kind of excited, thinking I, I might pass. Um, now I guess I just have more practice. Oh, the funniest part of this whole thing is that while we were waiting for like the road test person to come and check everything, there were a couple people in front of me, this kid in the car next to me and his dad were talking to my mom. I was sitting in the car 
my mom and this kid's dad were chatting and then the kid got out and started chatting too which I thought was kind of funny because like you're supposed to sit and wait in your car but anyway they were talking and my mom and him were exchanging whole life stories having a grand old time talking and then you know it came time for my test and he was going to be after me um and the dad heard that I failed because of the e-brake and he said what if you have another car like right now like what if you use our car like I'll let you use our car and so my mom and I were like oh my god like maybe like I can use this car and just take it right now since it's still kind of like in the time slot of when I would have been taking the test so then we got really excited because I thought I was gonna get to take it and I mean his car was a relatively new car I don't really know why it had a center e-brake because most new cars don't um, but we got all excited because we thought that I was going to be able to use his car and then this poor kid, he was like 16 years old or something, maybe 17, and he failed on his hand signals. But He didn't even get as far as I did. They didn't even get to test his e-brake, so I felt really bad. But after that, we were like, oh, like, we probably shouldn't borrow the car because he was upset and his dad was mad and all that. Anyway, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but... Luckily, I do have things to look forward to, to, you know, not be upset about it. I'm also, like, I'm, like, really not, like, I I thought I would be upset if I failed because it was my fault, but, like, obviously, it's not really my fault, so I can't really be that upset about it. It is what it is. I wouldn't have a car to drive right now anyways, um, but I don't want to get back into that excuse because that's why I never learned how to drive in high school. <laughs> So yeah, today I am going to get a mani-pedi because it's my family friend's birthday. At least I have something to look forward to because I really need a pedicure. I don't like really need a manicure. I did these myself, um, but what the heck. Treat yourself, right? So yeah, I'm going to go get mani-pedis and then tomorrow morning I'm heading up to Maine for my little vacation. So that'll be fun. Happy birthday, Peggy. Oh, thank you so much. How old are you now? 40. <gasps> wow. What? You know, 40 is yeah. a new 30. Oh. 40 is a new 60. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get our nails done. Yay. Hi, Julia. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> What's happening in the Peggy, middle of the salon? God forbid she's driving something. <laughs> what? What? Are <laughs> oh, my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to oh you. Oh my lord. home now and I'm just trying on some stuff that I ordered online that came in the mail today and the first thing I bought is these pair of white linen shorts from Grey Bandit and they have these two cute little buttons and they're like a stretchy waist and they just have like linen material and they have these little pockets which I think are really cute and I don't know if they're technically high-waisted but they're high-waisted on me and I really like them they're really cute really comfortable Really nice for the summer. And then the other thing that I got is this cute little top from Princess Polly. It's like a lace trimmed tie top in the middle and it's just this light blue color. It kind of matches my nails that I got done today, which is cute. Oh yeah, I got these nails done at the salon today. I don't know what the color is called, but I also got it on my toes and I thought it was really cute. Anyways, overall, I really like this outfit and I have a feeling that I might be wearing it on the 4th of July or something. That's it for today's vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!